Hello, I'm Amit Goswami. I'm a quantum physicist, and today I want to address that slogan that became famous in the 1970s, we create our own reality. People who are very gung-ho in the 70s for a while, they tried to create their own reality in the form of a great car, great house, stuff like that, or a great garden. And never worked. Never worked. But quantum physics does have, really, it does have an aspect which is choice. Because quantum physics says objects are waves of possibility for consciousness to choose from, really, for consciousness to choose from. So it's very easy to think that, well, consciousness meaning us. A rock is not conscious. A rock doesn't choose. But we do. And if we chose, then if we chose our reality, then we can choose anything we like. In fact, there was a book written and movie written by the name of Secret, which claims virtually the same thing and became very popular again because it gives the impression that all we have to do is to sit down and intend and intention gets us everywhere. But what then of all the people who try to intend every day and their intention often does not go everywhere? What is the secret? Quantum physics says, indeed, quantum objects are possibilities for consciousness to choose from. So it must be a question of what to choose and how to choose. Maybe we don't choose in the usual constricted consciousness that we call the ego. What is quantum physics really saying? This is the thing. What is quantum physics really saying? Quantum physics really is saying that we choose from a consciousness where everyone is one where the separateness does not exist. Look at it. If that were not the case, suppose you and I were choosing the same thing in a situation where there is a contradiction. Think of a quantum traffic light, red and green. I approach it from one side, you approach it from the perpendicular side. And we both want green light. Obviously, we cannot both of us cannot have the green light simultaneously. It will be pandemonium. If you think that the solution is to suggest who gets to be the head honcho, then I'll say, well, I'm the quantum physicist. I should be the head honcho. And you will say, well, you are a quantum physicist, but I make more money than you. So you should get to be the head honcho. But really, nature cannot be arbitrary like this. So the solution is that neither of us, or we can say both of us, get to choose. So what is that, that neither of us are, but both of us are within? That's one consciousness. So we get to choose from the place where you and I are one. That way, there can never be any contradiction. That one consciousness chooses for us both. And we, in our ego, cannot control that. So whatever things is not in our purview, to approach the choice, we don't try to choose those things. And traffic light is not one of the things that belongs to us in terms of choice. But what we think, how we manage our health, how we love others, these things do belong to us to choose. And this is where we have to apply our intention. So quantum physics, you see, is very simple. If you understand the message correctly, a new worldview is coming which helps us to understand the message correctly. So again, yes, we choose our own reality, but we don't choose from the ego. We choose from a 
deepest level of consciousness where we, you and I and everybody is one. That's the first thing. And we don't try to mess up the material world. Instead, we choose our mental thinking and vital feeling. And mostly we choose according to the archetypal values that we have. Those are the things where our choice can make a huge difference to ourselves and huge difference to the world that we live in. Archetypes are those entities like love, justice, beauty, truth, goodness, wholeness, abundance. These are the things we covet anyway. So instead of learning to explore just the material world and material goodies for our pleasure, all we have to do is to refocus our learning towards these archetypes. It's fascinating to explore the various splendors of love. It's fascinating to be just to another person. It's fascinating to try to be good, listening to our conscience. It's fascinating, instead of making money, to try to find abundance in our life. Money is just only one representation of abundance. We also need abundance of meaning, abundance of great feelings in our life, don't we? So it is this extra recognition that quantum physics is demanding from us. Then we can intend and we can have it in our life. We can manifest it in our life. And we will only be better for it.